You are watching Travel World Online. Austrian airline earnings still in red before the strong summer months. FHRAI clarifies stance on banana row, says hotel conduct was not illegal. Air Tanzania forays into India with three weekly flights to Mumbai. Intercontinental Hotel Group to phase out use of miniature amenities. Austrian Airlines revenue in the first half of 2019 fell by 3% to 982 million euros, H1 2018, 1008 million euros. Total operating expenditures in the same period were up to 2% to 1073 million euros, H1 2018, 1048 million euros. The main reason for the higher costs were the additional expenses for jet fuel and routine maintenance. Austrian Airlines significantly expanded its traffic volume. In the first 6 months of 2019, the airline transported 6.7 million passengers, comprising a year-on-year -year increase of 6% or about 375,000 more passengers than in the first half of 2018. The intercontinental business developed exceptionally well with passenger volume up 13.2% during the first half year. The sharp decline in earnings can be mainly attributed to two factors: the glut of budget airlines in Vienna and higher jet fuel costs, states Austrian Airlines CFO Wolfgang Yanni. In the light of a recent incident concerning a guest being billed 442 rupees for two bananas at a five-star hotel, the Federation of Hotels and Restaurant Associations of India (FHRAI) has clarified that the hotel has not done anything illegal. It also reiterated that charging 18% GST was a legal requirement incumbent upon the hotel. Chain hotels have a presence across several cities and follow standard operating procedures (SOPs). We need to understand that the hotel is not engaged in the sale and purchase of fruits and vegetables, but it provides service of accommodation as well as restaurant service, which includes supply of food and beverages to its guests. Unlike a retail store where bananas can be purchased at market price, a hotel offers service, quality, plate, cutlery, accompaniment, sanitized fruit, ambiance and luxury and not the commodity alone. A coffee available at 10 rupees at a roadside stall could be served at rupees 250 in a luxury hotel, says Mr. Gurbakshi Singh Kohli, Vice President FHRAI. The latest entrant in the Indian aviation market is Air Tanzania, the national carrier of United Republic of Tanzania. The flag carrier has started direct flights from Mumbai to Dar es Salaam with three weekly frequencies on Mondays, Thursdays and Saturdays. Ladislaus Matindi, managing director and CEO of Air Tanzania said, "It gives us a great pleasure to launch our flight to Mumbai, India." This new service was significantly strengthened the tourism flow and the trade relation between the two countries. To serve the significant volume of traffic with high quality service, we have deployed a Boeing 787 Dreamliner on this route for the betterment of our esteemed passengers. In bad news for people who steal tiny shampoos from their bathrooms, Intercontinental Hotels Group has said its entire estate of almost 843,000 guest rooms will switch to bulk size bathroom amenities. The transition is to be completed during 2021. Keith Barr, chief executive IHG, commented, "Switching to larger size amenities across the more than 5,600 hotels around the world is a big step in the right direction and will allow us to significantly reduce our waste." footprint and environmental impact as we make the change You are watching Travel World Online.